In this video, we'll study about the retropharyngeal space. The retropharyngeal space is a potential or dead space behind the pharynx and acts as a bursa to allow the expansion of the pharynx during deglutition. When you see the boundaries, it is bounded in front by the buccopharyngeal fascia which covers the constrictor muscles of the pharynx and behind by the prevertebral fascia. If you see in the cross section, the buccopharyngeal fascia in front and the prevertebral fascia behind. On either side, it, it is bounded by the carotid sheath and its content. And above it is limited by the base of the skull and below it is open and it is continuous with the superior mediastinum of the thorax. In the midline, a fibrous septum connecting the fibrous raphe of the pharynx with the prevertebral fascia divides the space in, incompletely into two compartments. Contents are, you have the loose areolar tissue and the retropharyngeal lymph nodes. Then you have the pharyngeal plexus of vessels and nerves. Now we will see the difference in the clinical presentation of any swelling in front of the prevertebral fascia and behind the prevertebral fascia. So in front of the prevertebral fascia, so this is nothing but the retropharyngeal space. and behind the prevertebral fascia. So this in front of the prevertebral fascia arises due to acute infection or inflammation of the retropharyngeal lymph node and behind the prevertebral fascia is due to the chronic infections like tuberculosis of the cervical vertebrae or the cervical caries. Here in front of the prevertebral fascia the pus which is formed due to the acute retropharyngeal abscess may bulge forward producing a paramedian swelling due to the fusion in the median plane between the buccopharyngeal fascia and the ala fascia whereas here behind the prevertebral fascia the inflammation will produce a median swelling the infection may extend to the superior mediastinum and then into the posterior mediastinum Whereas here the infection spreads to the posterior triangle, it spreads to the axilla, lateral wall of the axilla through the axillary sheath, it spreads through the superior mediastinum and the further descent will be limited by the fusion of the prevertebral fascia with the lo anterior longitudinal ligament of the upper three thoracic vertebrae. 